Club at 22, the Rangers podcast is supported by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Go to manscaped.com and get 20% off plus free shipping with code CLUB at 22. Your balls will thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to Club Reaction to Rangers. Rather embarrassing defeat to Hibernian today in the, the semi-final of the Premier League Sports Cup or the League Cup as we go out 3-1. I promised myself I wouldn't come on and give the Moon Hill or something to go on, but it is embarrassing and it is fucking terrible. Uh, I'm your host Scott Carney, I'm with Ali Pearson. Yeah, I agree with you there, Scott. Um, all, all the other side of the city out there, if you're... If you're wanting something to watch to enjoy yourselves, <laughs> tune in. It's uh, it'll be a good one. But um, no, today was um, I'm sorry. It's it's not good enough for Rangers Football Club. No, Scott Gamble. This was disastrous, wasn't it? Really, we we all thought, oh, but it's all right, we'll do it. We got Gio in, we'll do this, and we've just made a arse of it for ourselves. And there's a few players in that team that can get in the bin. And then one in particular. <laughs> one in particular. This is a wee bit after full time. Um, we've tried to settle down. Um, we've tried to kind of remain trick, kind of calm about it. But there is no way to put this that today is a as a shambles by Rangers. It is not anywhere near the standards we need to be playing at. The first 30 minutes of that match, our team were completely unrecognisable. Anything that we have been prepared to see pre Gerard, after Gerard, anything that you would like to imagine, it is not good enough even in the slightest and we'll keep this rather brief tonight to be completely honest we have just came from Hamden out to the Viceroy and we have read Connor Goldson's comments that he's made to the press uh, about the team losing hunger as far as I'm concerned Ali you put him in the bin right now yeah you showed me those comments as we were on the taxi come back to the Viceroy after Hamden there and yeah he said we have lost a bit of hunger. Oh, I'm sorry, your champions, your, your champions of Scotland. You should be going out and defending your title. You should be going for more. How you can't just win a title and just that's the end of it. And we'll, you can't lose hunger. I'm sorry. If you're the Glasgow Rangers, you cannot lose hunger. And Connor Goldson for me last season, my player of the season, and I've defended him this season. And it wasn't Connor Goldson's fault that we lost today. No, Let's, definitely let, not. It wasn't no, his fault. Not. But comments like that. When you play for Glasgow Rangers, I'm sorry. No, you, you don't say that with Glasgow Rangers. Glasgow Rangers, you go out to win every game and you cannot lose hunger. If you even even playing for any football team, it doesn't matter if it's a Glasgow Rangers or not, but to lose hunger, I'm sorry. No, that, that that's not good enough. Yeah, Scotia, you wanted to have your say on Conor Goldson today. However, he's only made things worse. Yeah, I, I thought oh, I'm yeah getting, getting angry with Conor. <laughs> because I'm a defender at heart, as you all know. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want my centre-half saying that. You know, our captain is always going to be golf. Well, I would say, he wouldn't, he wouldn't come out with stupid... It could bleed stupid, through a team. It could bleed through a team. And that. It's ridiculous. And, yeah, in the bin, please, or go away. Because <laughs> that, that uh, it might sound harsh, it might sound bad, and I'll maybe look at, back at this tomorrow two days time and go oh Scott you're a bit harsh there but no if you're coming out with comments like oh I mean I don't know we're a Rangers football club we d- demand success win 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 and at the moment Conor Goldson's not doing that for me so he needs to leave Giovanni Van Bronckhorst needs to fucking put him in the bin yeah I am I, I don't want to be too harsh on Connor and I don't want to pick holes in that but he's literally gave us the bat to beat the rest of the players over with because today was nowhere fucking near it I mean and I'm sorry for swearing but we were <coughs> so off it the, the, unrecognisable as a team it was two lacklustre goals a penalty that it should never have happened because he was going nowhere I'm not denying that it was a penalty it definitely was a penalty but it was a, it was a such a poor performance for Rangers, and it's a, it was a so one to take. And the, my biggest frustration with it always, I can't understand the mentality of the team. And for Connor Golden to come out and say something like that raises red flags for me because why should you be losing hunger? You are Rangers Football Club. You do. You're representing this team. You should never have a lack of hunger. We are the Premier 
team in Scotland for a reason. It's because we go out and we win. So to come out and say something like that is it's so below the mark and we've seen different quotes from different podcasts from different people even David Ed- Edgar's come out and said that Giovanni Van Bronckhurst Ali has he has a bit of a task on his hand because he has to identify the players that want to play for this club and players that do not want to play for this club I mean, I mean you always say you get the new the new manager bounce as you want to say I mean you want to say Gerard went to Villa he got his 2-0 win he got the new manager bounce we all thought coming into Hampton I know he's not in the dugout from Broncos, but he's in the stand. They players, to me, should be going out and going, I want to play for you, and I'm sorry. I mean, I thought Joe Rebo, to, again, once again, was the only guy in the park for times that showed something, but they players need to go out and show, I want to play for you, and there wasn't anyone in that park, bar maybe Joe Rebo, would say that, wanted to go out and go, no, I'm a starter. And we've got big games coming up, and we've said it for day one, where Thursday night's a massive game, and we go into December, and it's a it's, 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 it's a big schedule we've got. We're away at Aberdeen, we're away at Hearts, we're away at Hibs, we're away at Celtic at the second. It's big. And these players need to, I'm sorry, and we've limped through the season, and all the Rangers fans, we all know, we've limped through the season. We can be... And we're, I know we're four points top top of the league at the moment, but we've limped through the season and it's bit us in the arse once again. And I'm sorry, Hibs haven't played for four weeks, <laughs> four weeks. Yeah. And I'm not taking any way for Hibs. They wanted it more than us today. They took their chances. We, I, I'm sorry. After even two 0 I thought done. We're not doing anything here, and it was proved correct. Yeah, it's cool. So as we've said pretty much from the start that it was. It's nothing to do with Hibs today. It's all about Rangers' lack of hunger today. It's not, and I, I don't want to be disrespectful to Hibs, but Hibs deserved it. It's got nothing to do with Hibs. It's, got, no, it's no, all about no, Hibs, how much we made an ass of it. Hibs, Hibs do deserve it, like you say. Um, but I look at it, and we just went, oh, "Fucking there you go." Yeah, fucking, do you want a final? <laughs> That's what we've done all season. <laughs> yeah. Rangers just turn around and go, like, "All oh, right, there you go." Yeah. Like, a goal so, in the first ten so, minutes, bang, yeah, there you go. Like, like Martin Boyle. Patrick, fucking fair play to him. In the first half, but against Rangers in the yeah, semi cup, I, I mean, like, mate, it's, it's you embarrassing. Can't, you can't do that. Yeah, you I, can't. But no, it's, it's embarrassing. But yes, as we'll say, fair play to Hibernian. But I'm, I'm sitting here going, like, oh, fuck this. <laughs> 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 Throwing toys out of the pram, pretty much. Yeah. Like, oh, what, what can we do? What can we do? What can Gio, Vanny Van Bronckhorst, do? Because I, I said, on the pod when Gio came in this isn't on him this is on oh definitely it's not definitely it's not, some, see some of the substitutions we were making at times <laughs> mental today oh, they, they, they were, were mental. like it was, yeah. you were bringing off Aribo creative players you are bringing off Kent yeah and then you were putting on Hadji and leaving Morelos on that couldn't yeah. have cow's ass with a so banjo I would, I would like so you've got Kent and fucking people like that yeah. there and you go like what? Yeah. I, I, I'm pulling my hair out, going like, no, nah, no, nah, it's, it's, it's to me. To game. me, he's got big choices. Van Bronckhurst. I mean, Thursday night's a big game for us. We win that game two 0 We go into the the knockout stages of Europa League, which you, 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 you look. Well, it, I, I as you say that, Scott, it wouldn't surprise me if they did do it, Rangers. But he's he's get he's now get big. Not a problem, but what does he do with this Rangers team? He's got this. He's got these group of players to join us. We can't do it. And what does he rip? He can't rip it up. Does he do subtle changes? Does he bring players out? I don't know. But there's players on that Rangers team that need a serious kick up the arse right now. Because I'm sorry, you're playing for Glasgow Rangers. We are the champions. And I know we're four points clear of Celtic, and we've just once again limped out of a cup against a Hibernian team that haven't played in four weeks. And Fair play to Hibs, you deserved your win, and I won't say anything about that. You deserved your win. We were in absolute shambles today, but I'm sorry. It's Glasgow Rangers, and Thursday night is massive. And if I'm Gio, I'm going into that dressing room on and, and, and Monday morning, I'm saying to these players, do you want to play for Glasgow Rangers? Because if you don't want to play for Glasgow Rangers, I'm sorry, there's the door. Go in January. And I know that's easier said than done, because we've got contracts, but 
it's, it's a big task for Gio in, when he walks in there on Monday now. I can't disagree with that. Uh, and I'm not going to, we're not going to break down the game because there's no really any point in breaking down the game because it's not good enough. And we all know it's not good enough. And this is more our raw reaction. And this is a wee while after full time and we're still feeling like this. So we will come back. We will, we, we will speak about it in more detail um, during the week. But right now, I thought it was just important for us to say that not one of us is satisfied with that. That is nowhere near good enough. And I'm not even going to embarrass the guys by asking them for a fucking man of the match or anything like that because... Uh, there one? No, there isn't. There generally isn't. We are we are miles off it. Look, um, there's work to do. I never, I didn't think we needed a manager to come in instead of the ship. But after that performance, the manager definitely needs to stay to the ship. And he needs to pull out the fucking men for the boys from that team because that is not Glasgow Rangers and we will not put up with that. That was an embarrassment today. We all know it was an embarrassment. Um, I hope Van Bronckhurst has got the balls behind him, and I'm sure he does, to pick out the fucking flaws in this team and to get it right. Because right now, we are, we're are we in a slippery slope right now, and this could go wrong. And I don't want it to go wrong. I don't believe that we are... I don't believe the squad deserves for it to go wrong. We've got arguably the strongest squad in, in the league, but today nothing worked nothing was right and the attitude was wrong from the start so we'll leave it there gentlemen Ali thank you very much <laughs> no yeah, problem I like I say the it's most again, thankless task in the world I know at the end of the day this is football this is what happens today I'm sorry it was not good enough but we kind of mump and moan we go into Thursday night which is a massive game for Rangers Football Club Giovanni Van Bronckhurst will be in a dugout it will be his team and I want to see a Rangers team that I recognise and he recognises and let's go for it yeah Scott cheers mate yeah I'll be back to Ibox on Thursday oh I'm, a wee, I'm feeling a wee bit nervous I'm being <laughs> completely honest <laughs> no. yeah, I, no. I don't know after what I've seen today I am not sure no. what we're doing right no, now no I don't know what's going to happen either um, there's work to be done uh, it's probably the nicest way to put it uh, we will come back we will be more sensible we've obviously had a few beers obviously but we will be more sensible about it but even after my beer wears off, it's still not good enough from Rangers today. So, yes, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the usual shenanigans. Uh, we will be back mid with our club deck corner. Until then, um, let's Geo and Geo please get stuck into them because they fucking deserve to get stuck into. So, speak to you all soon, folks. Cheers.